This video shows how to set up your analysis in Sapphira's SketchUp plugin. I'm assuming that your model geometry is already set up and that you've already reviewed the entity types in your model. If not, please see our other videos on this topic. Once your geometry is ready to go, you can begin to configure the plugin analysis. The purpose of the plugin is to help designers and architects explore early stage conceptual design options and it also has daylighting analysis. In order to facilitate that very early stage exploration, the Sapphira plugin only asks for a few inputs and then makes assumptions using industry standard values for the rest of the required analysis inputs. This allows you to get started very quickly and get good ballpark results and then continue to refine the inputs as you go along. All you need to get started are three basic inputs. The first is the use type of the building. So for instance, an office, residence, school, etc. The second is the location of the building. Simply type a location here, it can be anywhere in the world. And the final input is a baseline for your building, such as ASHRAE 90.1 or Part L. And these define starting point values for the building envelope. Once you've defined those three inputs, you are ready to run your analysis. Now let's dive into each of those three inputs a little bit further. The use type governs things that are associated with the building use. So elements like lighting power density, uh, equipment power density, ventilation rate. Now those three properties you can actually adjust in the properties panel of the plugin. You'll see them at the bottom here. The use type also affects other inputs that are not able to be edited in the plugin, such as the occupant density of the space or the operating schedule. Those elements you can modify in the web application. If the use type that you're looking for doesn't show up in this list, a good workaround is to select the one that most closely matches the schedule of your building and then go into the properties panel and adjust the ventilation rate, equipment power, and lighting power to more accurately reflect the building that you're trying to model. For buildings with multiple uses, you can either pick one that is the most representative or you can model each use as a separate model. But remember that the point of the plugin is really large-scale, early-stage massing comparisons. And for more specific configurations, it's better to use the web application. The second input is the location. Based on the location that you enter, Sapphira automatically selects the nearest EPW weather file for the analysis. And that's used for both the energy analysis and for annual daylighting metrics, which are location-specific. If you're using an ASHRAE climate zone, or sorry, an ASHRAE baseline, then the location also uh, automatically changes the climate zone to the appropriate one. I should mention if you have a custom weather file that you'd like to use, that's something that you can do in the web application. The third input is baselines. And we have a number of default baselines already in here, things like ASHRAE 90.1 and Part L. You can also save custom sets of inputs as a baseline, and it will be available on your account for later use. We also have a number of baselines already defined on the knowledge base. So if you follow this link, you'll be able to see them. You can see here that we have a number of baselines from all around the world. These are often code-based and define minimum values for your building envelope, which is a good starting point for your energy analysis. The baselines adjust the parameters that you see below, elements like the wall insulation, roof insulation, glazing properties, etc. Finally, it's worth mentioning the HVAC system. You'll notice that a system type is automatically selected based upon the use type and the location that you choose. This is not able to be modified in the plugin, but again, if you have a Sapphire Systems subscription, you're able to configure the system once you upload this to the web application. 
So those inputs are your starting points. Obviously, once you have that set up, you can begin to explore different options, both in terms of the building geometry and in terms of major envelope values like the glazing properties or insulating values. Once you make an adjustment to any of the parameters uh, in the plugin, you'll see a message in the plugin that says the analysis is out of date. Simply click update to refresh the analysis. Happy modeling.